Now let's create uh, our type of wall. For example, I have a new wall and I want to create new type. I create new wall and uh, in the properties say edit type and say duplicate. It's much better to duplicate the simplest wall because if you duplicate a compound wall you have to delete a lot of different layers and properties. I say duplicate for example uh, test wall and in the structure I can set up my wall. If I want to look to my wall I can say preview here it is my wall and the structure say edit and uh, there is a table where we can add a material. Uh, there are different uh, parts of table number function. Function allows Revit uh, to create drawings of wall and the wall or uh, wall and uh, floor correctly. So uh, there are uh, six different types. Structure is a structural component. It's a concrete uh, um, brick. It's something that supports your wall. Uh, substrate. It's a foundation of another material, for example, gypsum board. Uh, thermal air layer. It's air or uh, insulation. Membrane layer. It's a uh, layer that prevents uh, water vapor penetration. It's the one layer which can have uh, zero thickness. So, and uh, finish. It's a finish of the exterior and, and interior layer. For example, I want to create a wall. Uh, the first part of wall. It's uh, has fun uh, function structure. Material. I place uh, my mouse on this field and place left button. I'll have small uh, small button. When I press on it, I'll have a material editor where I can uh, pick any material from from database. Let's make it a little bigger. On the bottom side there are all materials in my library. On the uh, top side there are materials in my current project. I can say just use brick. On the right side we can see properties of this material. I pick brick common and say done. OK. Now it, my wall has brick and uh, thickness is 215 uh, millimeters and this is a structural material. Also I insert a uh, layer thermal material it's a uh, I suppose let's check there are no material I go to Autodesk materials and uh, insulation mm, for example rock wool double click and uh, Let's check it now. Rock wool. Here it is. OK. Thickness 100. And I move this material from my core boundaries by selecting it and press up. So between these two lines uh, there is my uh, core layer or core layers. 
uh, here it is uh, and uh, also I add new layer it's a finish uh, material else brick common control second uh, for copy control V to paste thickness 120 uh, and uh, in the inside I paste a new one material and say it's finished to material uh, plaster uh, plaster plaster add to document materials here it is ok 10 millimeters here it is and now we have width uh, calculated automatically and we start to draw like that and uh, in any time I can change my type of wall go to structure edit for example I want to use uh, concrete mm. concrete and uh, 200 millimeters ok alright all my walls are updated when I start to draw another one wall for example I want to draw this wall and uh, there is one cool tool if you want to create the same object that you are created before you can just select it and press CS here it is, create similar and at the same time you start to draw the same type of wall that you had and uh, I created new type of wall and you can see that all my uh, layers are trimmed correctly. I can turn on thin lines on my quick access bar on or, or, or on the view thin lines. So uh, as you can see my plaster trimmed with a finish layer of exterior wall and uh, if I'll draw a wall generic from this side it will go to my structural wall so you need to set up your function correctly to uh, help you work with the structure you can search in Autodesk Wiki help applying a function to a layer of a compound structure uh, this is a good small tutorial which can help you to understand all uh, function of layers